Hey guys, Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's DIY, I have a fun Christmas ornament to share with you using items from the Dollar Tree. So you're going to head on over to the kids toy section and grab a box of the Tumbling Tower game, their version of Jenga, uh, some super glue and some of these wooden ornaments. So I began by taking out five of my wooden block pieces from the game and uh, one of the wooden block ornaments. We're going to start off with a Christmas tree and some super glue. I went ahead and stuck them together using super glue. I chose this method because it kind of sticks, it, it lays the pieces flat together, whereas the super glue tends to kind of leave it a little bit raised in certain areas. So um, if you have a little bit of patience, I would definitely recommend using the super glue so that you get a nice flush finish. Oops, correction you guys, they are wooden stickers, not wooden ornaments. I'm making the ornaments, these are wooden stickers. Sorry about that. While those pieces were drying, I just went ahead and grabbed some of my Waverly chalk paint in white, and I decided to paint my little tree white, kind of going for that little snowy flock Christmas tree kind of vibe, uh, and also kind of channeling a little bit of that farmhouse flair. I think these ornaments are a little bit more on the rustic side, and uh, of course it would tie in great with that farmhouse theme. Next up, I grab some of my Waverly Antique Glaze. I love using this stuff on wood. It gives such a cool kind of stained wood look um, effect. And I wanted mine to be a little bit, like I said, a little bit more on the rustic side. This part is purely optional. Of course, I'm just sharing the idea. You guys get to decorate yours however the heck you want to. But I really like this kind of stained wood look. And especially against that little white tree, it's just gonna pop so well. Now the assembly process begins. So just grabbing some hot glue, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this little tree onto this little wood piece here. And we are literally almost done with this project. Uh, we just need to create a little hanger. So what I did is I went ahead and grabbed some jute that I had on hand and uh, just cut it to the size that I want it. And just using some hot glue, applying it to the back of the wood piece there. decided to use some of this ribbon I got over at the Dollar Tree to just give a little bit of a pop of color. It was looking a little bit too plain to me and um, I love that buffalo check and this ribbon is super cute. So um, don't judge my ribbon making skills here you guys. And yes, I do need a new pair of scissors. I am in desperate need. They have been used and abused. So if anyone has any uh, special scissors that you recommend, please drop a comment below and let me know what you recommend. Uh, but yes, I'm in desperate need for some new ones here. So just making a really simple bow um, and just gonna go ahead and hot glue it to the top there and um, just give it a little pop of color. These are so simple and so quick to make. I ended up making about six of them and I still had about half of a box of the wooden blocks left over. So you can see you really get a lot of bang for your buck out of this project. These would make great gifts, great gift tags or name tags you can personalize. And there's so many fun things you can do with these. So if you enjoyed this craft, please let me know by posting a comment below. I hope you're following me on all social media and I hope that you guys all have a great and beautiful day. Thanks for watching.